Good day, family. How are you? God bless you. And thank you for tuning in to another exciting show of Senior Talk with Clara Hubbard, your resource and information show for people getting better with age. Well, we're very excited for today's show. We are in the month of April as we are celebrating National What is it? National Healthcare Month. National Minority Health Month. Oh my goodness, excuse me. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to play a quick commercial break from our Cook County Treasurer, Maria Pappas. She has a great promotion that she's using through our platform here at Senior Talk Media. But we do ask everyone, please post, share, tell your friends. It's 12 o'clock noon Central, 1 p.m. Eastern. Senior Talk is live. We look forward to seeing you on the other side of this commercial break. Everyone stay tuned. Hi, I'm Maria Pappas, Cook County Treasurer. Property taxes are due March 2nd, but there's no late fee through May 3rd. Go to cookcountytreasurer.com, put in your street address to pay online, search for $76 million in double payments and $46 million in missing exemptions. See if your property is on the tax sale delinquency list. Put in your address at cookcountytreasurer.com. All right, everyone, please be mindful that our Cook County Treasurer Maria Pappas is on it. So please be mindful. Go to Cook County Treasurer. She's returning funds to people and a lot of families are being blessed. So what we're going to do now is welcome our special guest. Good day. God bless you. How are you? Um, the word that I found out for you is Dr. Preneur. How are you this morning? Hey, hey that's that's a new one. Uh, great, great to meet you, Ms. Hubbard. Uh, glad to be here. It's my pleasure. Well, as we're telling everyone, this is National Minority Health Month. I have the distinguished honor of welcoming Zing Health, myzinghealth.com. Let me tell you, it's an exciting time for our community. And um, what other way to welcome them during what? National Minority Health Month. So what we're gonna do now is I just wanna play a little small excerpt from your commercial. You're doing great things in the community. We're going to come back and get to the meat of our time here today. And um, everyone stay tuned. Don't forget to tell your friends. It's 12 noon Central, 1 p.m. Eastern. Senior Talk is live and we're here to serve you. God bless you, everyone. Stay tuned to this quick commercial break. <laughs> Oh my goodness. This is a beautiful time. I'm so glad about this. Let me say, let's get it started. Here we go. Zing Health is turning 65 and dancing the night away. Zing is getting your extra steps in. Zing is your trusted partner helping you navigate the Medicare maze. At Zing Health, we listen patiently to your health needs, personally guide you to the best Medicare Advantage plan, help you maximize your benefits so you can start optimizing your health today. Are you turning 65? Amazing starts here. Explore how Zing's Medicare Advantage plans help you feel amazing. Call 844-ZING for us or go to myzinghealth.tv. All right, everyone. So that was a commercial from our good friends at Zing Health. Welcome, 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 our good friend now. And we're going to go in the community together and serve and be of service. I'm so excited. Yes. Dr. Eric E. Whitaker, let me tell you, busy man, thank you so much for joining us today. But I want to go back to, um, you got a great bio. Not too many people you have not touched. Um, you have some great terms that we're going to speak about. I want you, now that it is Minority Health Month, I really want you to talk about your being a founder in Project Brotherhood, that Black men's clinic. I think we need to focus more on men and the betterment and quality of their lives. So would you just share your, that information about the, the, the clinic itself? Sure, sure. I, you know, I think it's helpful to understand some of where I'm coming from, too. Uh, yes, please. And, and, you know, I like to say that I'm a South Sider uh, by by birth and by choice, and so <laughs> so I, you know uh, the you know uh, uh, you know I'm steeped in the South Side. The South Side. I'm a son of the South Side. Yes. And as, as I became a physician and got a better understanding of the uh, health disparities and the, the 
the statistics. Uh, I, I finished my training and came back to work at Cook County Hospital, uh -huh. and, and in particular did work at a, a clinic in Woodlawn called the Woodlawn Adult Health Center. And so as I was preparing to do my work there, I looked at the life expectancy statistics, uh -huh. and there was a 14-year life expectancy difference between Woodlawn for black men and then, then white men in the rest of the, the city of Chicago, wow. 14 years. And you'd have to go to like the, the, the uh, when Russia was falling apart, <laughs> you, you'd have to go long distances to underdeveloped uh, countries to find that sort of uh, uh, disparity of life, uh, of, of, of statistics. And so, you know, b back in the late nineties, uh, we ended up, uh, you know, I, I was there at this this uh, community health center, and it turned out that men weren't visiting the clinic. Right. So, so we we took a page out of the marketing that that others have done, and we went out and actually talked to black men and said, "Hey, you got this resource sitting right here. Why don't you use it? What would it take you to to use it?" And and we found some surprising things and some not so surprising things. Mm -hmm. the, the first thing that wasn't so surprising is that the men saw it as, as a place for women and kids. They didn't see it as a place for them. Hmm. The other sort of surprising thing was the fact that, uh, you know, while we saw the fact that the clinic was in the community was a benefit, the that was the best thing about it, but that was also the worst thing about it. Mm -hmm. uh, black men didn't want to want folks to see them come into the, the clinic, lest they be seen as sick or weak or other things. Yeah. And so. So then we moved from doing some some you know basic marketing research and said how do we create this place so men would come there, and we ended up uh, starting Project Brotherhood. Um, all of the physicians that practiced there were African American men. The social workers were African American men. We put a barber shop in the clinic yeah, uh, where, where men could get free haircuts. Uh, we started a rites of passage program out of out of Project Brotherhoods because we had the feeling that even though you might be seventy years old, it doesn't you're not a man if you're not uh, following the duties of what men should do. Sure. And we did a parenting class for men, which before I had kids, I went through the parenting class at Project Brotherhood. And the uh, important thing is the the African American doctors that were there participated in all activities as black men, not with our title or our status, but as brothers coming together to talk about topics. And, and you know, and um, we were ahead of our time. Mm -hmm. we, were the, we were the first in the country and, and uh, people came from all over the country to look at what we were doing because they wanted to replicate it back where they were coming from. But we were lucky enough to have the backing of Cook County Hospital and, and because all of our, our, our patients were, uh, were uninsured. Sure. And so it, unless you had a, a Cook County Hospital to back you, you couldn't replicate this. So so th this started on the south side of Chicago and, and unfortunately didn't get spread across the country like I think it would if, if the Affordable Care Act were in place when we did this. Yes. Wow. Well, the good thing that I'm hearing is um, and what I really appreciate is you created something called the doctor patient relationship. Mm -hmm. So that you can identify if, if this is the service that I'm going to provide for you, mm -hmm. how do I welcome you? And it, it should be duplicated because men have to have a different variation of, of receiving medical care and mm -hmm. be comfortable with it. So having the additional services was definitely uh, bar none. So now let's talk about um, you have this career with Illinois Department of Public Health, Cook County Health Systems, and now we are in a pandemic. Praise Jesus. Yes. I greet you. <laughs> Still with my mask. We must keep our mask on to save lives. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm, that one was very key. That one was. So let's do this. We want to talk to, and we're dealing with Minority Health Month. And we're thing is going to come back multiple times through our network. Let's talk about the disparities are still going on through this pandemic. How we are not addressing our personal. We're just trying to stay safe and get home. But there are still things that we need to continue to increase our quality of life. So how do we address our disparities through a pandemic from your eyes, doctor? Well, I mean, the, the truth of the matter is, that, you know, the, the fact that, that uh, black folks have been dying disproportionately uh, and getting sick of COVID uh, compared to others re really it just un unveiled the fact that there's been disparities in healthcare that have existed all along. Uh, and and the, the sort of diseases that black folks have more than other folks like hypertension, diabetes, 
um, lung disease, asthma, uh, uh, um, uh, COPD, which uh, stands for, uh, <laughs> I'm like blanking on the, the actual acronym, but but we, we have these underlying conditions that, that existed before COVID came. And, and it, people were acting like, uh, you know, this is some surprise that we would get COVID uh, much more uh, than other populations. So, so I mean, we, we, we have to deal with COVID, be, take it seriously. Uh, mm. I'm advising people to get the vaccination. I've had my two vaccinations. Uh, and, and, you know, people are concerned about whether or not the vaccine is something to be scared of. All I can tell you is that if you go in our communities where vaccine is available, you, you see whites and others coming to our neighborhood to get them. <laughs> So <laughs> you're on my street. You're on my street. Okay, here we go. Yeah. So I currently am in Indianapolis. I'm building my network nationally. Um, mm -hmm. And so I'm in Indianapolis. And one of the things that really was amazing is that I call my family and they say, Clara, what is going on? I'm like, what do you mean? My aunt said she had to wait at a particular hospital on the South side because there were so many other ethnicities getting the vaccine coming from north, not living in the zip code, it's really just overwhelming. And so it's it's important too, that they can't hold the vaccines for too long anyway. Yeah. So we need to be mindful that if it's in our community, you should take advantage of it. But it just deterred me because there was such a line in Roseland Hospital. Yes, I, I actually grew up right around Roseland. So, oh, so we, uh, we may be cousins because I grew yeah. up on 117th. I'm a product of Roseland. Okay, so I'm, I grew up on 112th and Ray Sand. Okay, I was on 117th uh, in Michigan. <laughs> so, so that that that's uh, I, I, I was telling my daughter who who got her shot at Roseland Hospital mm -hmm. that, that when I was in high school, I got actually uh, jumped and pistol whipped by black gangster disciples three blocks from Roseland Hospital, and, and they took me to. The, the hospital gets sewn up and I would have had a, a big scar across here uh -huh. and back here. Uh, and, you know, but, but for Rosalind, you know, sewed me up and sent me back out. So, so Rosalind has a lot of history of my, my family. I um, heard that. Yeah. That but, makes sense. So, so what can the community do? How yeah. has, I mean, you're starting, let's be mindful. Zing is less than two years old. Yes. And you're in the height of a pandemic and you present Zing Health, I think you started in 2019. Yes. What was that like? How did you sustain and get to this point now that we're seeing a little light? It's, it's had to be a tough ride for you. No, you, you, you just don't know, um, uh, Ms. Hubbard. Uh, I mean, this, this time last year, um, I, I, I mean, we could have gone out of business. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I literally was raising money payroll to payroll. And then in, in May last year, you know, you know, praise God, you know, we got a hundred and fifty million dollar investment. But but I, I mean, literally, we could have been out of business. And and, and we we um, cared about you know eighty percent of our our, our members are, are black or brown, mainly uh -huh. black. And when we sent out a COVID package to eat care package to every person that had a a, a thermometer. Um, a pulse oximeter, so you can check your oxygen, ox, oxygenation level. Uh, an information booklet about you know the you know the gave data, you know uh, health, you know health data about COVID nineteen, and we sent them a mask. We sent that to every one of our folks very early in in, in the pandemic uh, to make sure that people knew what's going on. And, and currently, you know, we're contacting all of our members to make sure that they've gotten vaccinated and if they want to, and if they don't, we try to give them good information to try to convince them to get vaccinated. But it, it was it was a hard time to, to uh, you know, try to grow a business because everything was shutting down. Um, you know, people were scared. And, and what, you know, I was the head of the state health department here in, in the state. And we, and I was one of the people who prepared Illinois for a pandemic. Okay. And so I had a healthy fear of what was going on myself because I've seen all of the models, the numbers, and, and I took it very real from, from last February to today. Mm -hmm. Wow. So Zing Health is making a great stride. Let me say, I know some of your um, um, consultants very well. And you picked a very, very, very powerful team. You got to have people with experience. Let me tell you, I'm very excited for you. Now, yeah. with that being said, there is a term, and I've read it, and I've seen it, and I've heard you speak it publicly, but Zing is the visibility, we're planning to be a training ground 
yes. for our minority health care executives. Yes. Tell me what does that look like for you? Well, well, you know, currently right now, um, about 80 percent of our our 58 uh, person staff is black. Um, you know, and, and, you know, the thing that's true is you, know, you can't be what you don't see. Mm -hmm. You can't go down a career path if you're never exposed to it. Yeah. And, and I wouldn't be a doctor today if when I was uh, 15, 16, I saw the, a black physician for the first time and said, you know what, I want to do that. Yeah. And so so we, we're being very intentional about, you know, who, who we bring into the tent in terms of our, our, our team. Um, and, and uh, you know, the, my, my hope is that people understand entrepreneurship from seeing us do it here at Zing, and they go out and start their own companies because we need to have an ecosystem of, of uh, black founders uh, that can grow businesses of scale. Because yeah. you know what, when you look at the data, black folks hire black folks, <laughs> you know, and, and, uh, and, and my wife, who's a physician, and, and we, we, this is the third company I've, I've started uh, in, in, in health, a health insurance company. And, and uh, usually when we go to meetings, we show up with our crew and we bring the diversity to the meeting. Hey, hey. And, and oftentimes we're talking about our people and there's no one else in the room that, that you know, has the, the experience and the background that we have. So, so I, you know, I'm hoping that over time that, that people get trained here, go elsewhere and, and become leaders of other organizations or, or importantly, start their own. Absolutely. So let's talk about um, the Zing system. I mean, you have some programs that like I'm hearing and what I love is that you send packages to your team and to your patients to say, hey, we're not going to see you right away. But here's some things we're still thinking of you. And yeah. I think that is let me say this is key. One of the key things that all of my community of seniors are saying is that they were, had no communication, I eat with maybe their doctors physicians or family. So now we're all isolated. Yes. Isolation is a big thing. So the fact that you sent the mask and had a package to say, hey, we love you. We're here for you still is a big deal. Now, I know that you have something that is very unique is this telehealth program. Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. People are loving telehealth. We have to get comfortable. Yes. You know, let's be clear. Some of us, well, who are we talking to? You're talking to a professional. So tell us about the success of the telehealth program that you have. Well, well, cer certainly uh, there's been an explosion of, of telehealth in this COVID environment mm -hmm. because, you know, people were rightfully scared about going to see their primary care doctor or their subspecialist. Yeah. So so we, we offer the ability to connect um, by phone or, or by video with, with uh, specialists or nurses or others who can help you stay on the right pathway in terms of health. Mm -hmm. and my hope is that, that uh, you know, as you're suggesting, we have to get more comf comfortable with the technology so that we can, you know, instead of running to the emergency room where, you know, the, the they try to deal with a problem and then be done with it. We, we want people to not have these episodes of care, but to have continuous touch points with, with their, their health team so that they can continue to get the information that they need to make the right choices and get the care that they need. Absolutely. So I, I'm all excited. I have a few uh, family members who, who are, we don't call them seniors, we call them people getting better with age. Okay. So, but I, that's, that's a long uh, thing to say, Claire. <laughs> I'm telling you, if you go in a room, if you go in a room and say and use that term, they're gonna cheerlead. I yeah. have gonna play. Well, I'm not a senior, not all that, but you're getting better with age. <laughs> you're you're better with age. We, we need to get a shorter uh, uh, thing to say. If you can find that for me, that I, that'd be helpful. All right, I'll work <laughs> out. So let me say this. Um, people are really excited. I've talked to some of your team members, and you have a very unique program in regards to, I think you working with heart health mm -hmm. and, you know, there's so many things that people don't address. So if you can, can you give me a little umbrella of what's under Zing Health? Okay. Yeah. So, so we, we're what's called a Medicare Advantage health plan. Mm -hmm. You know, as you know, most people think about Medicare as a, a, an insurance program that once you hit age 65, you become eligible for it. And, and, and we're, we're, uh, a, a type of plan that you can get is it's underwritten by the federal government. Importantly, people earn the right to be on Medicare. We pay all of us who are working yeah. to it. This is not welfare. You paid into this yep. 
You might want to say that again. We, you yeah, earned you, it. Yeah, you've earned this. And, and the important thing is, your original Medicare. You know, they what they do is they you go to the doctor, they pay the bill, but they don't look holistically at your health. Mm -hmm. What Medicare Advantage allows us to do is to look holistically so we can work on your vision, your hearing, your dental. Uh, we can offer supplemental benefits like um, transportation, uh, those, those devices that go in the bathroom for safety. We can help get those put in your house. Uh, there, there's a whole list of benefits. And Zing Health itself has a, a traditional uh, uh, HMO health maintenance organization but we also have something called a special chronic special needs program. So for those who are who have diabetes or who have cardiovascular disease, heart disease mm -hmm. or or heart failure, we have a special plan that helps get even more additional support for people who have those chronic conditions. And we tend to have those chronic conditions more than other populations. So, so we, and, and, and again, this gets back to, you know, why, why do we get in business for Zing? We want to help improve our, our community and be a trusted source of information because there's a lot of craziness out on the internet and even, even my family, you know, they talking crazy. And so I have to say, whoa, whoa, whoa. You know, I went to a lot of school, you know, I went to the 24th grade. <laughs> uh, let, let me, you know, what, what grade did you go to? Yeah. And, and, then, and then we walk it through to, to, you know, try to get the right, correct information in front of people. Okay. So here's what we want to do. Um, we want the community at large. We know there are a lot of churches that are soon to be opening up. I am asking if you are watching and through my network, please call the senior talk office so you can get this information. We need to make sure that our faith-based communities, when the doors are officially open, that you look at services. A lot of you have health ministries and you haven't maybe got mm -hmm. together to put something, use this platform through Zing Health as well as Senior Talk to get some con concrete information and talk to experts mm -hmm. because we're trying to self-diagnose and that does not work. Yeah. yeah and one, one, one other point I just made, Claire. Claire. Uh, you know, Medicare is a complicated, complicated thing. And, and what we want to do at Zing is to be a place of good information to, to discuss your options. And at the end of the day, if, if an individual says, you know what, this is not for me, I'm good with that because we will have done our, our job in trying to educate folks. When you look across the country, only 18% of black folks pick this Medicare Advantage option, this more holistic option, hmm. whereas about 40% of other populations pick it. So we have a, we, we've not taken our advantage of Medicare Advantage uh, at, at all across the country. And so, so again, we, we want to expose people to the, the options. And if they want to go somewhere else, I'm all for it. Cause I don't want you on our plan. If we're not the right plan for you, That's and right. If, if you think there's, there, there might be a problem with it. Okay. So here we are, you've already addressed a few things, but there are several plans as you mentioned. Mm -hmm. Yep. What is that one standalone that Zing offers that maybe your competitors does not? Well, th this chronic special needs plan, mm -hmm. uh, it, it's something that that we offer that not a lot of the big plans do. They mm -hmm. don't they don't put an emphasis on it. And we're currently in Illinois in six counties in Cook, Cook, Cook County. We're in Indiana. Hey! In Marion, like in Indianapolis, uh, Allen and Lake County. And we're also in Michigan in Wayne, where Detroit is, uh, Genesee, where Flint is, and uh, Oakland County, where where um, Pontiac, Michigan is. So, okay. so we, you know, we we've expanded uh, from just Cook County in year one. We're in these other counties, and we're going to expand some other, uh, uh, like four or five counties, going into 2022. Absolutely. Well, we definitely welcome you here to Indianapolis. I'm in Chicago often, and uh, we work with the Indiana Department of Minority Health. So mm -hmm. there's definitely, you know, a lot of room to grow. And yep. to bring that, I mean, what what's going to be critical is what you mentioned, that special need program, yes. because of the intensive care, as well as the extensiveness of it. I haven't heard that. So I'm very excited about that. So now we're closing out real soon. But what do you tell our community at large um, in regards to just the changes you've seen through your career with the Illinois Department of Health, working with the universities and hospitals, what have been the changes and how can we be better patients? Yeah. You know? Well, well, well I, you know, my, I, I'm a primary care doctor. 
uh, by training, uh, some internal medicine. Uh, you know, I, I would urge every senior to get a regular doctor. You know, mm -hmm. someone you trust, uh, someone you can go to for uh, good information. And and it, it, there's there's data that shows that even just doing that, <laughs> people okay. have better outcomes than than uh, not. Because again, it stay, saves you out of the emergency room. Mm -hmm. you, you get all of the pre preventive services that you need over time. And, and, uh, and, and you know, it keeps you out of hospital. Because, you know, one of the things I, I like to say is people get sick in hospitals. So you <laughs> So you want to you want yeah. you know you want to stay out of the hospital, right? So it's, it's our job at Zing Health and working with your primary care doctor and your specialist uh, to make sure that, that you get all you need. Uh, but you got you you know knowledge is potential power, so you got to know right, but you got to do right too. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, absolutely. And I think what we were going we're going to do is we're going to um, also revisit. Uh, another interview in this month of April for Minority Health Month. I think we're going to be talking with the special needs team, some of yeah. your experts, because we want to like to put faces on people who are going to be serving us. No, so that's, that's what normal. That's the, we're going to do that. But um, if I could, I just want to play um, your commercial once again for the people who are watching on YouTube and Facebook. We appreciate you. And to all who are making comments, I appreciate you so much. And um, everyone stay tuned. This is another commercial break um, from Zing Health. Stay tuned, everyone. Zing Health is turning 65 and dancing the night away. Zing is getting your extra steps in. Zing is your trusted partner helping you navigate the Medicare maze. At Zing Health, we listen patiently to your health needs, personally guide you to the best Medicare Advantage plan, help you maximize your benefits so you can start optimizing your health today. Are you turning 65? Amazing starts here. Explore how Zing's Medicare Advantage plans help you feel amazing. Call 844-ZING for us or go to myzinghealth.tv. All right, everyone, let me ask you this. This is my Zing TV. Should I be on that channel? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> what? <laughs> I got to get on that channel. Oh, my goodness. But I just want to say, Mr. Whitaker, honestly, it's a pleasure to have you. Um, and, you know, I, I've seen your name multiple places. You've been philanthroping and just helping the community at large. And you're really a champion for, for health and for our community. So I just want to say thank you in advance for your time today. I know you're normally on roller skates, so you sit still and I appreciate it. And we want our community at large. Thank you for the comments. We're going to be asking people to share this with your church ministries, hear the information. The owner and co-founder is here. The CEO is on the line. He's with us. And more importantly, um, you have a passion. It comes through that you have a passion for our community. And I only appreciate you even more in depth because you were a child of Rosalind. That's right. That's we right. Had, we right. Had family. Right. I had a lot, lots of school. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Lot, I, lots of school. I have to tell my kids sometime when they, you know, and when I have to check them, like, you know, <laughs> you know we, I've, I've been around the block a little bit. That's most appreciated. So the future of Zing is bright. They're serving Indiana, Michigan, and Illinois. And where else are those are the three states we're in right now, correct? That, that's right. But you know, we 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 will be in the, the Midwest and hopefully we'll we'll be across the country. But I mean, you know, again, we're we're trying to build a, a company that our community can be proud of uh -huh. and, and, and also be able to get to scale. Because one of the things we have these little things that happen, but we, we need we need to have a, a, a company like an Aetna or a Humana and and, and we, we could be that vehicle. Absolutely. So everyone, don't forget the information you see. Um, the website is there, myzinghealth.com. But I am asking you, if you're viewing, for those who are responding, go to Senior Talk Media, check us out, let us be a source. We'll put you in touch with some of the local persons who can assist you. We're also asking for health ministries at large, community organizations. If you're doing a blood drive, anything that's outdoors and safe, they got masks. They will yes, come presentations and also be informative. And that's what we want to have because we don't sell, we inform people. And that yes. is our goal to make sure our community is one together at, at large and knowledgeable as well. So it's been a pleasure to have you, Dr. Whitaker. As we say in closing, in complete darkness, we are all the same. It is only our knowledge and wisdom that separate us. Don't let your eyes deceive you. I've been your host, and granddaughter in the community. See you talk with Clara Hubbard. Our co-host today was none other than Dr. Eric E. Whitaker, the Dr. Preneur. God bless Thank you much. all. Thank you for making us a part of your day. And we will see you next time for Senior Talk with Clara Hubbard. <laughs>